Hello, so this video is on some really promising research that came through at the end of 2017, um, just a couple of weeks ago actually. So um, actually there's three things, two about exercise and one about caffeine. Okay, so two things about exercise. I know like you, um, we've been seeing a lot about exercise and how it's the only thing that's good for Parkinson's, but no one has seems no one seems to know why it's good for Parkinson's and what what actual effect it has on the Parkinson's. The first one was a study in the University of and Colorado. And what they found is that exercise may slow Parkinson's by, by somehow um, turning on the protect, some kind of protective gene that prevents that protein we always hear about accumulating in the brain, which means that the exercise creates something so that the cells don't die off in our brain. And that's really a big thing for us. That's a big, big breakthrough. And this is what the researcher said, and I'm quoting right now. And his name is, I think it's Kurt Fried. I will try to link any information I have in the description box, but it might take me a couple of days. So I think this video is important that it should come out even though I don't have these links ready, but I will add them if you don't see them right away. If you don't see them in a couple weeks, <laughs> write me a reminder in the comment box because I might be having a Parkinson's moment where I forget to do Okay, things. here's the quote that's very important. It says, people with Parkinson's who exercise are likely, are likely able to keep their brain cells from dying. Keep that. Let me read. People with Parkinson's who exercise are likely able to keep their brain cells from dying. So this has nothing to do with, in the, you know, when we get Parkinson's, but what it does have to deal with, with is slowing down our progression. And there is nothing that has been proven to slow down the progression. Like many of you know, um, Parkinson's is progressive. So it gets worse as more and more of these dopamine right. cells die. They say yeah. that by the time we notice that there's a problem, 60 to 70 percent of our dopamine cells have died and there's no way to regenerate them and there's no medicine currently, as you guys with Parkinson's know, that cures Parkinson's. So this is very important. Um, but there's also been a second study um, concerning the intensity of exercise. And it came out also um, it, sometime before Christmas of 2017. And it came out like a, a week ahead of, of um, I believe, the one from the University of Colorado. Again, it's very important. It says that um, exercise does help, but it must be intense and exercise. So it just can't be a light exercise. So what they proved have proven is that you must exercise at a specific intensity and they said three times a week is fine um, 30 minutes minimum and it must be a target rate of 80 to 85 percent of the hourly uh, max um, which means just google like target range for your age <clears throat> that will give you what you should get up to um, now Again, there's been plenty talk about exercise, but nothing proven how it can affect Parkinson's or if it does affect Parkinson's. But again, the key to all of this is intensity. So you just can't do like a light walk around the block. That's not going to do anything. Um, well, let me rephrase that. It might help definitely with other things for your health, but it's not going to specifically help with Parkinson's from the look of this. You need to do intense exercise. So. Um, that's one thing as since we're young and early onset this is definitely something that we can do that's not going to harm us if it if they're not right then we'll get healthy in other ways but i know a lot of us complain about exercise and how we can't do it unless we're physically unable to i think that we must do it we have no choice this is the only thing that they've come up with and i don't see anything down the pipe pipeline as far as a cure anytime too oh. soon. So I don't know what we have to do, but I just encourage everyone to take this seriously 
and to start some kind of exercise program. Even if you can't get to that intensity right away, do anything so you can work your way up to that. If you need to, if you need help, maybe you can schedule an appointment with a physical therapist that specializes in Parkinson's. I think that's very important, the specializes in Parkinson's, because I've noticed a lot of physical therapists either don't see a lot of people with Parkinson's or they don't see any younger people with Parkinson's. Um, and then the, the last study was a study, again, came out like a week ago about um, caffeine in blood. Um, and what that was about, it, they think that they can um, f figure out who has Parkinson's by the caffeine level in the blood. And what the study did, it's, it was a study where people drank coffee and they had a non-Parkinson's group and a Parkinson's group. And what they found out is that even though they drank the same amount of coffee and consumed the same amount of caffeine, the people with Parkinson's did not register that caffeine in the blood. So they're trying to make a test from that or think they can make some kind of test. So that sounds real positive. If you know more about the study, um, write it in the comment box or if you know any other studies that came out recently that um, would help with um, slowing down the progression of Parkinson's specifically. Okay, thank you.